I'm getting ready to bury these garlic or plant the garlic and I'll be using this tool. It's made by Fiskars. It's one of the few things that Fiskars has ever made that I actually like. Now the Fiskars have really sharp instruments, good design, and their blades are incredibly sharp. The problem is the material is not any good. Fiskars doesn't pay me anything to badmouth their products, but as a professional tree cutter for many years, I never had a Fiskars that would last me for more than an hour. Corona, like the beer, the Corona brand loppers, I have some of those that I started with. I cut trees for 10 years, eight hours a day, sometimes using loppers, sometimes not. And I still have some of those and they're in good shape. Do they have to be sharpened? Yes, all cutting tools need to be sharpened occasionally. But the Fiskars, they just wouldn't last. So I do recommend this one. This is a knife looking thing. I don't remember what it's called. It's got a number on here. It's Echo Alpha 0315. And this has held up really well. So I would tell you this is worth your time to get if you do a lot of soil work like I do. And so anyway, let's go plant the garlic. Now there is a mechanized way to do this. I saw it in a film from India where they were planting, I don't know, a couple hundred acres in garlic. I couldn't believe how much they were planting. It was a huge amount. It can be done mechanically, but given the size of my garden and what I have, I'm going to be doing it manually. I am not going to be narrating this because of the noise from the wind. But when you look at a garlic, you have a part that has a top to it where it's going to grow, and you have a part where it's going to produce a root. It is very important to get this oriented in the right position with, the, with the, where the leaf comes up to the top. Garlic is not one of those plants that doesn't care how you plant it like a normal seed and then the thing comes up correctly. Garlic really cares which end is up. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go start planting my garlic and as I said I will not be talking due to the amount of wind that's out here because I'm not sure you'll be able to hear me. I planted some garlic and unfortunately the camera got the memory got knocked off so I'll show you what I'm doing. That little black dog over there came over and spilled everything. I had to pick it all up so we're going to start again. I've, I've got eight garlic down right now. I'm getting ready to plant some more. The way that I do this, I just start tearing the skins off. There are other ways to do it. This is just the way that I do it. Now, if you look, I've got one coming up, very clearly coming up. Second part of a leaf right here. Now, if you look on the bottom of this, it appears that we have more than one clove in here. Because of that, I'll go ahead and pull a little more skins off of it. And here we can see that we have the separation of the cloves. As we pop it, we get one Two, three. This one I'm not sure about. I'm going to peel just a few more exterior leaves off of it. And there we go. You can see it. 
So we get a total off of this little bundle of five, three, and two, five cloves. <clears throat> and I'll just continue to tear some of these skins off of the outside of the thing. Alright, we have several inside of this one, and they're trying to leaf out as well. That's a good sign. One, I can see it, but having trouble finding where exactly it fits in there. That makes three. <clears throat> Saber dog has come back to visit. Hey. She's after some attention, so I'm one hand in it for a second here. Now this is just a really big one. It's only got one little deal down here for the growing roots. When I pop it open, I look to see if there's more than one in here, and there isn't. So, pop that. What I'll now do is I will now put something on top of this to weight these down. That's shadow. Rubbing in my shavings. <clears throat> I also have a bit of ginger and we'll be planting that but for now we're just going to set this in here and we're going to put some weight on top of this and sink it and then in about 30 minutes we'll be ready to plant it and once we do that once it's been planted it should take off and grow fairly quick we will also be putting a little bit of miracle grow onto this uh, to water it in and we'll be planting at about a depth of two inches. Dysfunctional vet, out.
These have soaked for about 10 to 15 minutes. These wrappers are feeling a bit damp. So I'm going to go ahead and stick them into the ground. Normally I, I soak them for at least 30 minutes. But since I'm going to be watering them on in and the soil is um, it's pretty wet, I think I'll be okay. Now I did one off camera to check and see just how easy it was to peel these particular ones I had. So I'm going to add those in and we'll count how many total <coughs> we will count how many total we got for um, since I had three at 60 cents a dollar 80 and then we'll look on a, in a catalog and see what it would cost for something like this so let's move over and let's get them planted